Now we are going to see another type of light modifiers which is called the umbrella. And why it's called an umbrella? Because it is an umbrella. So this is the umbrella and for sure it's not to be used like this, it's used for photography. Umbrellas are used for soft light effects. We saw earlier the reflectors and we said that they are used for hard, hard light. This is used for soft light. Again, I'd like to remind you, there will be a special video to explain what is hard light and what's soft light. But for now, we just need to know what are the modifiers that are hard light and what are the modifiers that are soft light. So umbrellas are soft light. Umbrellas come in different sizes and different colors. This one is white. Umbrellas work as follows. You have the strobe. The strobe will emit light. It will hit the umbrella. Light will be reflected from the umbrella going towards your subject. By this reflection and going back, light will soften and it will become soft light. So, if I'm the model that I'm going to, to take the picture myself, the umbrella will be oriented in this direction towards me. So light will hit the umbrella, it will reflect back on me. So, umbrellas are in different colors. This is the white umbrella, and white is very soft umbrella because white color does not reflect light in a hard way. We are going to see different types of umbrellas that will reflect light more hard than the white color. So, different sizes and different colors. This was a white umbrella. This is another umbrella, but this is a silver umbrella. The, the material from the inside is silver. It reflects harder light than the white one. It continues to be soft light. All umbrellas are soft light modifiers, but Soft light could be harder than each other. In other words, this is a little bit harder than the white one, but both are soft light. So this is a silver umbrella. There's also a gold umbrella, which will reflect a goldish color. I usually don't use them because I don't like that effect. I might do it on Photoshop if I want it. Anyway, this is the silver umbrella. This is a very special type of umbrellas. Let me open it. This umbrella is called shoot through. Why shoot through? The umbrellas before, as I explained, they reflect light from this direction. This is the opposite. This umbrella allows the light to go through the material of the umbrella to go from this direction. In other words, if I'm going to use this umbrella for photography and I'm the subject, the umbrella will be in this direction towards me. Totally the opposite direction of the previous ones. So what do we gain when we have a shoot through umbrella? First of all, we can allow the light source to be very close to your subject. So it can be as close as this much. We cannot have this in the previous ones. Why is that? Because you will have the strobe sitting over here and the strobe will shoot the light from this direction. So the strobe will be an obstacle between me and the umbrella. So I cannot get closer than this. But when the umbrella is from the opposite side, there's no more obstacles and I can get very close to the umbrella like this. Also, there's another effect when your light source is very close to your subject, which is related to something called the light fall off. I will explain the light fall off in another video. But just for the moment, you have to know that when the source of light is close to your subject, then the light fall off will be different than when the, the source of light is far from your subject. Also, this umbrella has a black fabric from the back. This is to prevent any light from going backwards. So when, when light is shooting in this direction, only light will go from here. There will no light be going from the back because this black color will, will, will be an obstacle for the light and it cannot pass. So this is shoot through umbrella. We're going to see now a very special umbrella. This is a huge umbrella. It's around seven foot umbrella, two meters and 10 centimeters. You can see that this umbrella is almost bigger than me. Whenever the light source is big, the light will be softer and it will be more beautiful for photography. So this huge umbrella is a very nice light modifier, much, much bigger than all the ones that we just saw. And also it is silver from the inside.
Moreover, this umbrella has another extension that can be added, which is a piece of fabric that we can put from this side of the umbrella, and we can convert by that the umbrella to a soft box. In other words, this will act as a, a, soft, a huge soft box and an umbrella at the same time. So this is a very nice umbrella that will have very nice effects on photography and for sure we are going to try it and see its effects. So different sizes of umbrellas and different colors depending on your needs and the things that you want. Now we are going to see how we set up the umbrella on the strobe. First of all, you should have the reflector on the strobe before you can put the umbrella. Why? Because if you don't have the reflector, light will travel in all directions. This means not all the light from the strobe will hit the umbrella. So you are losing a lot of light. Moreover, since light will be escaping from different directions, you are not controlling all the light from the strobe. There will be lights anywhere and it, it will ruin your shot. So by putting the grid, we are directing all the light in one direction and it will be in the direction of the umbrella. And then all the light will hit the umbrella and it will reflect back. To put the umbrella, there's a small opening on the strobe. We saw it in previous videos. So I will insert this side of the umbrella in this opening and I will push it inwards. How far should I be pushing the umbrella inside? We are going to learn this when I attach it to the strobe by using the help of the tungsten light of the modeling lamp. So from the light of the modeling lamp, we will know what is the correct pushing of the umbrella. So let me insert it and we continue there. Now we can see that the umbrella is attached to the strobe and the light of the modeling lamp is almost gathered in this area. The correct position of the umbrella is when the light reaches the sides. So now I will be pushing the umbrella inside and outside until I find the best position where light is spread almost all over the umbrella. 